Hello, I'm Kotaro Matsuka. We will give the presentation about Virtual Secure Platform, a five-stage pipeline processor over TFHE. In recent years, cloud computing has been spreading rapidly. Cloud computing is a mechanism to offload computation processes to others. In the current system, the program and the data required to be processed must be sent to the cloud server and must be in plain text at the time of execution. What we are concerned about is the possibility that the program and data can be wiretapped. The cloud server is a computer located somewhere on the earth. If a malicious party has direct access to that computer, he or she may be able to extract the program and data from it. So what to do? Just encrypt everything. If the client encrypts everything, the client's information, including the program, can't be wiretapped. We can make wiretapping pointless. This is the basic idea of this research. We call our proposed method Virtual Secure Platform or VSP. The natural question about this idea is how can we execute an encrypted program? To answer this question, we recall the fact that programs are executed in a processor and the processor consists of logic circuits. In the slide, we show a small example of a part of logic circuits in a processor. Logic circuits can be represented by a graph of logic gates. So the question, how can we execute an encrypted program can be reduced to an easier question. How can we evaluate logic gates over encrypted bits? This is because if we can evaluate logic gates over encrypted bits, we can replace each physical logic gate with them. And this gives a way to evaluate logic circuits over encrypted bits. This means we can construct the processor emulator for the encrypted program. One way to achieve the evaluation of logic gates over encrypted bits is called free homomorphic encryption. This is suitable for evaluating sequential circuits like processor circuits because FHE does not need a pre circuit depth bound. We use one kind of FHE called TFHE. In our development of VSP, we set three targets. The first one is high-level language compatibility. Sometimes there's a trade-off between security and usability. Even though VSP provides a way to secure computation flooding, if the user needs to write the program by assembly language, an ordinary user won't use such a system. The second one is speed. Because the operations in FHE are significantly slow, we have to do special treatment for speed up to make a workable implementation in the current real environment. The last one is open source implementation. Uh, providing an implementation is of course necessary to ensure reproducibility of results. But in addition to that, Open source is an excellent way to allow users to verify the implementation without trusting us. Our contribution to making VSP compatible with high-level language is to implement a RISC-V best ISA and LLVM best C compiler for it. The reason why we chose C is it is widely used and easy to write speed optimized code. The reason why we chose Risk 5 best ISA is we want to use a widely used compiler framework like LLVM to make the compiler user friendly. For speeding up, we did two optimizations. One is the development of Yocam, an FHE gate evaluation engine. This is needed to utilize parallelism. What we mean here by parallelism is explained later. The other is CMAX memory. 
because the memory circuit constructed by logic gates can be easily bigger than the processor circuit, a special cryptographical optimization for memories is effective. By combining both, we achieved 1,600 times faster implementation compared to the state of the art. At last, our implementation is available on GitHub. In this presentation, we focus on Yokam because the exploitation of parallelism is our central contribution and the most buster idea we propose. Before explaining the details, we explain the brief structure of the components needed to evaluate the processor circuit with the encrypted program to clarify where Yokan does the work. At first, Yokan takes the processor circuit and replaces each logic gate in the circuit with TFAG's logic gate to construct the processor for the encrypted program. During the construction, Yokan also embeds CMAX memory with the encrypted program and data to the processor circuit. After the construction, Yokan evaluates the replaced circuit for the encrypted program iteratively. Handling this evaluation phase is the main role of Yokan. In other words, we can say that Yokan is an abstraction layer for running logic circuits over TFHG. Due to the time limit, we will only discuss the gate scheduling process of Yokan, which is one of the most important functionality. After that, we will briefly summarize the performance results of BSP. There are two types of parallelism in FHG logic circuit evaluation Yokan tries to exploit. One is the gate level parallelism, and the other is pipeline induced parallelism. The gate level parallelism means sometimes there are multiple gates that are available at the same time. For example, in this circuit, alpha and beta can be parallel available, but gamma is not, because the evaluation of gamma depends on the results of alpha and beta. The pipeline is a circuit design technique that increases the parallel available gate by inserting registers to divide the circuit into multiple parallel available circuits. If we assume we are currently evaluating a stream of data by the same circuit, in pipeline distribution, gamma does not have to wait the results of alpha and beta because the previous results of alpha and beta are supplied from the register. These parallelisms are trivial in physical circuits, since physical logic gates are naturally evaluated in parallels. However, exploiting them in circuits over FHE is not trivial because we rely on the physical execution environment to evaluate the logic gates, the number of parallel available logic gates is limited by the physical machine capability, like the number of cores in the CPU. So, efficient scheduling to free utilize the capability is needed. You can take care of this scheduling problem. The prominent future of Yokan is it supports both multi-core CPU and multi-GPU to maximize usable physical machine capability. We evaluated our implementation by running it in real environments. We show here two cases. Case one is AWS P3.6X Rise, which is equipped with eight V100 GPUs. And case two is Sakura Kokaryuk, which is equipped with one V100 GPU. In both cases, introducing the pipeline gives better performance by increasing parallelism. Case one is the fastest case among all tested cases. We achieved about 0.8 seconds per cycle, which means we constructed a 1.25 Hz clock speed processor over TFHE. As you can see, 
Case 2 is slower than case 1. This is because case 2 does not have enough physical capability to fully utilize all parallelisms. So, a scheduler like Yokan to handle massive physical capability is needed. To emphasize the novelty of our work, we compared VSP with FRISC, a state-of-the-art processor over FHG. FRISC only supports one instruction and this causes no compiler support while VSP has three compiler support. The evaluation of the circuit of FRISC is estimated to take 1278 seconds per cycle, while VSP takes only 0.8 seconds. This means VSP is about 1,600 times faster than the state of the art. In addition to that, our implementation is publicly available, while the one of FRISC is not. In conclusion, VSP enables offloading computation while keeping the program secret. We demonstrated this by providing an open implementation. And one more thing we want to emphasize is the exploitation of parallelism is important in FHG circuit evaluation. This gives significant speed up. To expand the possibility of utilizing parallelism, we have to care about both get driver and architecture parallelism in the circuit design and prepare massive physical capabilities like multiple GPUs and the scheduler, which can handle the full of it. For any question about our research, please post to the GitHub discussion in our implementation repository and or send an email to this address. Thank you for watching.